have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose, and why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Help! Man, that stung! I told you we shouldn't have come here, and you listened! What? I'm fine. I'm fine. What in green tarnation do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man! Are you gonna keep yapping, or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping, because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied dark eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the sage, but he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it, if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. 
All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the wart gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there before I turn you both into ferns. during your quest. These floating egg-shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. This is a power cell, the most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your egg grab zoomer. <laughs> hey, you found one of my scout flies. I sent seven of them to each area to look for power cells, but the lurkers must have captured them all! Wow! That last scout fly had a power cell! I'll bet if you collect all seven in each area, you can find even more power cells. That's Blue Eco, which contains the energy of Moser. Blue Eco allows you to run fast, break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. Notice how each blue eco cluster you pick up increases the time you can use its power. This is a precursor door. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling blue eco through your body. That's a blue eco vent. More concentrated than the floating clusters, this vent will give you a full charge of Blue Eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. Good work. The Blue Eco caused the door to open. With Blue Eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have lain dormant for years. Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up 50 small green Ecos, or one big green one, to increase your health. You can jump once, then jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. Good training, boys. But that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. Ah, uh, then no problem! We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're, uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! Hey, baby. What do you say you and I go cruising on this A-Grab Zoomer? Rule number one, I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. Looks like scout flies are always in red boxes. 
Oh, don't tell me that you two have problems as well. The first I hear of monster sightings near the village, and now this. See those gears up there, boys? See them? See how they're not moving? That means our village has no power. The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. And boys, everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened. Did you pay the bill? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, 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 you're funny. Now look, if you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, and, and another thing. If by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution is a, oh, a very modest 90 precursor orbs. Well, uh, hello there, my dear boy. You've caught me at a most inopportune moment. Uh, I was to set off on my journey yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. Hey! Little furry dude! Oh, I thought for a moment you were my muse. You're what? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, Crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. As a matter of fact, without my muse, I just can't sculpt. But with her around, I see beauty in everything, you know? Right now, I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. Oh, I just hope she's all right. It's worth a power cell if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute! We are not going back to Misty Island! Are we? Oh my, what a horribly sick little bird. <laughs> you don't look so good yourself, lady. Oh, sorry. I thought you were a spotted orange bellied ring friend. You know, yesterday I saw some terribly vicious creatures capture a mother flut flut near the beach. Now there's this poor little orphan egg sitting in a nest at the top of the cliff, and I can't get to it. If you could climb up there and push it off, I've piled some hay down at the base to catch it safely. Do an old lady a favor, and I'll give you a power cell. Mm, gotta milk those yak cows. Gotta milk those yak cows. <laughs> oh, it's you. Oh, just resting my tired bones. I've been trying to get those Henri cows back into the pen all day. Some strange creatures tried to steal them earlier. You think you could help an old man try to get them back into the corral? That lazy farmer owes us a power cell. Let's go talk to him. Ah, oh, well done, my boy. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this power cell for your trouble. Wow! Check out that funky sculpture sitting on the rocks over there. Who awakens the oracle? Wait, one of you has the light within. From before time, I have watched and waited for the true hero to return. Present to me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. This must be a precursor oracle like the sage always goes on about. I hope they weren't as ugly in person. We scrounged enough orbs to trade for a power cell. Let's get back and make the switch already. What do you have in the basket? Nothing to talk about. Them monsters patrolling the ocean took a bite out of me fishing rig. And now they're gobbling up me catch. No matter what I try, I can't seem to catch a single fish in this river. Woo! Maybe it's your breath. You think you can do better? Try scooping up river fish with a tiny net. I'll give you a power cell. 
If you can catch 200 pounds of them critters, and then I'll let you and Shrimp here use my speedboat to get to Misty Island. He's want to try the challenge. There are two types of good fish to catch. One pound fishies and five pound fishies. If you miss 20 pounds of good fish, then I'm gonna take me net back from you. There are poisonous eels in this river. Catch even a one of them boogers, and you'll poison the whole darn catch. Here. Hold steady. You caught 200 pounds of fish! Not bad for a couple of landlubbers. Here's the power cell I promised. And you can use my boat at the village dock whenever you like. We need to get to the top of that tower! So we got a precursor launcher here, but you aren't powered up with the blue stuff. So it ain't gonna help us! Wow, did you see that? Blue eco vents have been activated all over the world. I knew there was a way to turn them on. There must be places to turn on the other eco vents as well. Tell that windbag of a mayor that he owes us big time for connecting the village energy beam. Hey, let's go check out old Fish Breath's speedboat at the dock. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful sight. I thank you. And the entire village will thank me. Uh, boys, you have restored power to the village and guaranteed my re-election. And for that, my boy, you earned a power cell. So, uh, you uh, want to make a contribution? Good. A, a sizable one, I hope. You! Yes. Oh, it is a sizable contribution. I, well, well I, I, I just hope this power cell adequately represents my gratitude. I see you two are back to make the trade. Good, good, jolly good. Hey, you have the uh, precursor orbs that we agreed on? I hope you put this hard-earned power cell to good use. Cheerio, ta-ta, bye-bye. Hey! That pelican just snagged a power cell! Let's go kick some big bird butt! We have to get to the power cell before the pelican scoops it up again! Well, I see that you two have finally decided to unblock my collectors. 
I would offer my congratulations, but you have so much to do, I won't waste your time. By the way, if things don't work out, Daxter could always get a job controlling the village rat problem. <laughs> Punch those poles up from below. Ooh, let's use the cannon to blow things up. Hey, seagulls! Let's buzz them for kicks. Yeah! <laughs> for your valor. No, no! No, 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 no! Look, isn't that cute? It thinks you're its mama. Ah, I'm not your mom! You see any feathers here? Oh, love at first sight. Oh. Listen, boys. I'll take this little chick back to the village with me and work with the sage to take care of her. Good! You've collected enough power cells to fuel my heat shield. Meet me by the entrance to the fire canyon by climbing the cliff behind the farmer's house. Bring the power cells, and hurry! My father says he's seen more lurkers around. For your gift, another power cell is yours. Great! You have the 20 cells needed to power my heat shield. Now be careful. The shield will only protect your zoomer till it reaches 500 degrees, so try to keep her cool. Flying over open lava will definitely heat you up fast. Hit 500 degrees and it's over. Over? Like burning molten metal over? The fire canyon gets pretty hot, so keep a lookout for jumps to keep you off the hot ground. I've also released several blue cooling balloons you can use to drop the shield's temperature quickly. Oh, and when you get across, don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Blue Sage's lab. Then we'll be able to teleport over and meet you. Good luck! Hit those balloons to cool off! There's scout flies out here, too! Ooh, see if we can catch air off those workers! Give us an update. 
and take the furball with you. Well, the situation here stinks worse than a lurker's armpit. Before Blue Sage's disappearance, he journaled significant trouble in all of the surrounding areas. Of particular interest to me is the dark eco-infection of some innocent plants in the Precursor Basin. Kira will teleport your Agrav Zoomer to the nearest transpad. Ride the Zoomer to a green eco-vent, and then carry the green eco to the corrupted plants. That should heal them. Don't miss a single plant, or the infected ones will slowly reinfect the healthy ones. And Daxter, start cleaning up in here, and don't forget the corners. Apparently, the precursor structure just off the coast leads to an underwater lost city. The Blue Sage has been trying to figure out how he can bring one of the chambers to the surface, but he was never successful. You should check it out. Uh, aren't there a lot of uh, lurker sharks in that water? Why? Are you scared? Me? Of course not. Just looking out for Jack here. You, uh, you know what a chicken he can be. Well, if you swim out over the coral reef, I doubt the lurker sharks will bother you. They don't like shallow water. Until we find out why the Blue Sage disappeared, you're going to need to collect 45 power cells to fuel his machine. Go get him! You two look like a couple of capable fellows. I've got a research project going, and maybe you could help me out. Hey, we're the ones on a big quest here. We ask you for help. Well, perhaps we can help each other. I've been studying the burrowing habits of lightning moles in the Precursor Basin next to our village for years. But now those awful lurkers have scared the moles to the surface. And since they're blind as bats, they can't find their way back underground. If you could herd them back into their burrowing tunnels, you might just save their lives. I've got a power cell that says you can do it. Yeah, lightning moles. We care. Maybe for two power cells. Nice try. But I would be willing to part with another power cell if you two find me 90 precursor orbs for my research equipment. Fair enough? Oh, you have the orbs. Here's a power cell we agreed upon. Oh, my aching head. I doubt that's one of your vital organs. Walk it off, tough guy. Oh, sure, I was tough once. Maybe even the toughest of them all. I single-handedly defended this village from those horrid creatures for almost a year. Then that horrible monster arrived and commenced the Boulder Bombardment. So, full of valor, armor shining in the sun, I climbed the hill to take him on. But he pounded me like one tenderizes a yakow steak. Have you tried attacking him with your melodrama? Cause it's killing me. After my last stunning failure, he sealed the passageway to his roost with a 30-ton boulder, leaving no way for anyone to challenge him again. So, our sage, a master of blue eco, and a mechanical genius, devised a machine capable of lifting the boulder out of the way. But alas, he disappeared before we had a chance to turn it on. And he took all of his power cells with him. At least I was able to pull enough pontoons out of our bridge to prevent that monster from coming down here to do me harm. Yeah, good, good job, tough guy. But um, we're, we're gonna need you to uh, put him back and stuff. Oh, sure. And seal my doom? <sighs> all right. Fine. Bring me 90 precursor orbs and I'll let the pontoons loose. But I'm not going to fight that monster again. Ah, oh, no. Not another hero. I lost my short on this so-called hero's big fight against the monster up there. Trust me, the smart money's on the monster. That wait, you pretty much tapped me out. So, I got a proposal. Bring me 90 orbs to get me back on my feet and out of this barrel, and I'll give you a power cell in return. And if you're gay, I do have one more bet online. My big comeback. Beat the record time, racing Dead Man's Gorge in the Precursor Basin, and I'll get a pretty payoff. But that, 
I'll give you another power cell. That's one of those flying lurkers. He might have a power cell. Let's go get our power cell from the geologist. Those must be the infested plants old Lognarkin was talking about. You keep on impressing me. But then maybe it's just because I've got low expectations. Okay, your moment of gloating is over. Get on with it! to help you out. Now I can get back to my research. Oh, great moves, kid. I knew that time record would fall. Now here's your power cell, and I can go collect my big payoff. <laughs> Whoa, yeah! These are up to help me win my way back out of this barrel. Here's the power cell, I promise. Oh, wonderful. You brought me the precursor. All right, I'll fix the bridge. But don't ask me to get involved with that creature again. You can shoot fireballs when you're powered up with Yellow Ego. Did you see that? Only three more tennis to go! Wow! Only two more tennis. Hey! There's the Flut Flut! Good work! Aren't you guys happy you saved our little Flut Flut friend? She may come in handy again sometime. Now, go back to the trans pad and I'll bring her home. Howdy, friends! Enjoying my beautiful swamp? I own these here parts. Everything that doesn't sink into the mud, that is. <laughs> Judging by the smell, I'd wager your bathtub sank in the mud long ago. What's a bathtub? Anyway, I got bigger problems now. Seems some nasty lurker varmints are grousing about, snatching everything they can get their grubby little paws on. Scaring away my pet hip hog, Parley. He's been missing for nigh on to a coon's age. I've been putting out his favorite snack. Those ornery swamp rats keep stealing them. If you could keep those pesky critters away long enough, I just know Farley will smell them vitals and come back. Will you help me out? Good. Those rats will be back any time. Shoot all them rats. Keep them from eating at least one of them snacks. Get him! More! Well, fry my hide! You sure know how to shoot! Thanks a heap for the help. That dirigible's barely hanging on! Let's find the last tether! Good work, Jack. Your uncle would be proud. That was a giant. 
automaton from a precursor robot. I've never seen one in such good condition. I can't imagine what the lurkers wanted with it, but we sure didn't want them to get it. If you keep this success up, nah, you'll still fall short of hero. But keep trying. It's endearing. You have proven yourself worthy. Here is a power cell. Oh, it's the conquering heroes. Good. I wanted to talk with you two about something serious. There appears to be quite a bit of lurker activity on Misty Island. I can see them bombarding the precursor silo from my lookout tower. If the lurkers open it up and release the dark eco, we could all end up running around looking as ridiculous as this annoying little specimen. Jack, it's time for you to prove your worth. Get the fisherman to let you take his boat back to Misty Island. Get to the top of the precursor silo and take out that cannon. And what about me? You? Why don't you mop my floors? They seem to have lost their shine lately. Did you see the size of the bite that Lurker Shark took out of the fisherman's boat? We best stay way clear of them. I don't think we can tackle a creature that dag nasty. We were here. It's an ambush, Jack! It's an ambush! <laughs> this place gives me the willies. Let's keep you out of the ooze, okay? I have to admit, I'm impressed. You two didn't screw up. Now that the lurkers can't open that silo, they can't flood the world with Dark Eco and cause untold destruction. Wipe that ridiculous grin off your face, Taxter. The two of you have plenty to do. Get on with it. Let's plow into those balloon workers and shred them! around our village for weeks. Bring your zoomer back to the chance pad and I'll teleport it back. the best. Here, take this power cell. I won't need it now that I have my inspiration back. Beware of the dark light, for it has twisted the fate of one of you. Bring me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. Here is another power cell for your quest. Great! 
You have the cells for the machine. They ought to provide enough power to lift that boulder. There we go. Now be careful facing that monster lurker at the top. Wait! Uh, I'll stay here and protect Kira. Jack, I think you're ready to handle that monster without me. Oh, really heroic of you. Go turn on the teleport gate so we can join you. 
Sage's lab looks worse than the blues. Well, it definitely looks as though there's been a struggle here. <laughs> I'd hardly call it struggle. Would you, dear sister? Certainly not. The Red Sage gave up with so little effort. No fun at all. Gull? Is that you? You've finally gone off the deep end, eh? And Maya, I told you the Dark Eco would affect you both. Mm, nobody ever listens to old Samos. What have you two done with the Blue and Red Sages? Don't worry about your colorful friends, you old fool. They're perfectly safe in our Citadel, our special guests. They have graciously agreed to help us on a little project. You were wrong, Samos. Dark Eco can be controlled. We've learned its secrets, and now we can reshape the world to our liking. You can't control Dark Eco by itself. Even the precursors. Until now, we've do. had to scrape by with what little Dark Eco we could find near the surface. But soon, we will have access to the vast stores of Dark Eco hidden deep underground. Not the silos. Yes, the silos. They will be opened, and all the dark ego of the world will be ours. But that's impossible. Only a precursor robot. Oh, don't look so upset, Samos. We've got big plans for you. <laughs> The same girl who's supposed to change me back? Girl is the guy trying to kill us? I'm doomed. We may all be doomed. If they open the silos, the Dark Eco will twist and destroy everything it touches. We simply must get to their citadel to stop them. The fastest way there is through the lava tube at the bottom of this crater. A few more power cells and your Zoomer's heat shield should get you across the lava safely. All right, my boy. You know what to do. Take the flea bag and go round up more power cells. Great balls of eco. There seems to be a large lurker presence in the spider caves. Great. Sounds like a real cheery place. Let me guess. There are spiders in the spider caves, right? Of course there are spiders in spider caves. But that's the least of your problems. The lurkers are after crystals of concentrated dark eco. You've got to destroy the crystals before those monsters get their hands on them. Up to it! Hey guys, keep collecting power cells. They're the key to continuing our journey north. Hey Gordy, duh, I think we got visitors. You think, Willard? Howdy, strangers. Uh, passing through? Uh, us too. Well, we gotta be moving on. Nothing to see here. Duh, I thought you said this was a priceless gem worth Willard! Actually, we want power cells, not gems. We got four of them. Do you want them? What Birdbrain here is trying to say is, we may have a few power cells laying around, and we might be willing to part with them for 90 orbs each. Where have I heard that before? Hey, how do you two geniuses expect to get that big gem out of here anyway? Well, smarty pants, we got 12 more years of digging to figure that out. Uh, Gordy, wouldn't it take less time if you dug too? Oh, all right already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours.
two power cells to fuel the heat shield against the lava on the way to Gaul and Maya Citadel. Oh, oh, yeah, I got it this time. Uh, here's a... Uh, here's a... A power cell! Yeah, yeah, what he said. That's it. You cleaned us out. No more power cell! Seek the pure light, for within its flame, the answers reside. You can gain my power cells by bringing 120 precursor orbs for each. You have obtained another power cell. <laughs> All right! With these additional power cells, I should be able to supply the heat shield with enough power to stand up to this lava. But the shield still has a limit. It will now withstand temperatures up to 800 degrees, but no more. So keep an eye on your gauge. I don't want to think about what those temperatures would do to your zoomer if the shield gives out. Yeah, the heat. What? The zoomer? Hey, what about us? Don't you think we could look for a safer route to go, Citadel? Oh, look, I've released more cooling balloons into the tube, so you can use them to keep the temperature down. And don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Yellow Sage's lab. We're counting on you. Decided to show up. Nice to see you, too. Do they have you mopping the floors now? There's no time for jokes, Dexter. Gaul and Maya kidnapped us to sap our energies to power their abominable machine. 
It appears they have combined the functional remains of a precursor robot with scavenged artifacts from across the land. Then they added a few diabolical additions of their own, creating the one thing capable of opening the Dark Eagle silos. If you can free the four of us, we can use our combined powers to break the force shield surrounding the robot before they use it to destroy the world. Who would have thought I'd live to see the day when I needed to be rescued by a boy and his muskrat? <sighs> I'm gonna give Gall and Maya a little payback for this embarrassment. Then we'll see about cooking up some muskrat stew. Good work, fellows. Old Samus was right about you. Great piles of precursor metal. That insidious mechanical creation must not be allowed to wreak its terrible havoc. I will try to actuate the shield door by eliciting a conduit of energy between myself and the vast portal below. Uh, yeah, you do that. We'll, uh, just go find more help. Weirdo! <laughs> you finally come to rescue. Do you know how long I've been in here? What took you so long? And uh, <laughs> what are your names? I'm Daxter. He's Jeff. He's with me. Good job, Daxter. You're a real hero. You've got to stop Gaul from launching the robot. I'll use my eco power. Help open the shield door. Let's go climb up those platforms! Good work, boys! You're real heroes now! I'll combine my green eco power with the other three sages, and together we'll open the shield door surrounding the precursor robot. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good start. And then after you guys open that shield, what are you gonna do about the robot? Nothing, Daxter. We have to keep the shield open. It's up to you two to figure out how to destroy the robot. Oh, great. I get to help the guy that turned me into a furball destroy the only person who can turn me back! First, save the world. Then we'll try to convince Gaul to help Daxter. You too late, save us. Once I possess limitless dark ego, I will have a key to creation itself. This is madness! Really seeing that much dark ego will destroy everything we know. Just look what it's done to you! It has given us a beauty beyond anything you could understand. Beauty? Have you two looked in the mirror lately? Just wait until we open the silence, little one. You think short and fuzzy is bad. And to think you two traveled all this way for my help. Fools! Enjoy your front row seats to the recreation of the world! Jack! Take the elevator up and stop that robot!
it does exist! They must not be allowed to get it! Why, Ego? That could be the stuff to chain me back! Or it might stop that robot. Stay fuzzy, save the world. Choices. Okay, fine. We'll save the world. But do it quickly before I change my mind! Like I may have been too hard on you boys. You do have what it takes to be heroes. But Daxter, now we can't change you back. Don't worry about me, baby. You know what they say. Big things come in small packages. Jack, you have an incredible talent for channeling Eco. Samos, you may have been right about this one after all. And Kira, without your help and ingenuity, None of this would have been possible. <laughs> Perhaps we've found another sage now that Gaul and Maya are lost. Yes, Gaul and Maya. The Dark Eco probably destroyed them. Uh, probably. Ah, who cares? Bring them on! We can take them again! Right, Jack? I said, right, Jack? Wow! Put it on ice, big guy! Holy yakko! What could that be? Wow! It's an ancient precursor door! It looks like it will only open if we fill all 100 holes with power cells. Uh, we're heroes, remember? We have 100 power cells.
Thank <laughs> you.